welcome back to my channel. I am Janelle, um, certified macro coach. We are going to the grocery store and we are going to show you staples for getting started. So if I could go back and start everything over, and if I had a list of things that you should have in your house, pantry staples, freezer, fridge staples, I'm going to go in there and show you what I would get. Hi, baby. Wow. Hey. Okay. So starting off at fruit, really whatever fruit you like. I really like apples strawberries blueberries raspberries love them um so really whatever fruit you kind of like just just get that but definite staples for me are fiji apples strawberries blueberries those are like my absolute favorites that i always keep in the house and don't sleep on frozen frozen is fine too and it doesn't go bad as fast some staples for me are broccoli cauliflower baby carrots cucumbers Okay, just grab it with your hands. Just hold on to it with your hand. She's losing her cake pop. Um, I love salads. They're great, like fillers. Um, I love romaine, spinach. Any of that is great. Avocados are a great source of fats. Potatoes are a great carb. They keep you full for a long time. Love sweet potatoes, regular baked potatoes, yams, um, the little baby red potatoes. These little ones are super nice and convenient. I love onion. Onion is another staple for me. How you doing, sis? Good. Okay, let's talk seafood. I love seafood. It is such low fat, great protein, very filling. You can get these like salmon fillets. I, I'm not a tilapia fan, I like cod. Um, but any of this that you like, just get it not seasoned. So like I wouldn't get this seasoned. They could be like added sugars and fats that you can just do yourself and control better for your macros. So frozen plain fish. Um, even like these, these like mussels, um, I wouldn't get seasoned again. They're up there, it's like raw, you know, like non-seasoned. Shrimp, do not sleep on shrimp. I absolutely love shrimp, shrimp tacos, shrimp stir fry, so good, so great. Let me show you the macros, like they're amazing. Like this. For four ounces of shrimp, 60 calories, zero fat, zero carbs, 14 grams of protein. Like you could do two servings of this, you could do like eight ounces for 120 calories. Like I love shrimp, do not sleep on shrimp, do not sleep on fish. Okay, let's talk meats. Um, I always reach for a lower fat meat, a ground turkey or a lean ground beef or um, chicken breast or chicken thighs is fine, but skin off is something that I always reach for. Again, I stay away from the pre-seasoned because you don't know what like sugars, oils they have added so I like to control all of that so I reach for the plain non-seasoned meats. Okay, okay let's talk sugar-free uh, creamers or sugar-free flavors so sugar-free vanilla versus uh, regular let me show you this because I'm gonna blow your mind so the regular 60 calories 15 grams of carbs you guys that's like an apple like you could have an apple for that, okay? Or get the sugar-free one for zero, literally zero. So those that's like the comparison in macros. I know some people are like, oh, I don't want, you know, the chemicals in, in this. Well, okay, that's fine. That's, that's kind of another story. But you guys, that's why looking at this is so important. 15, like, that's crazy to me. Like, that's why I always reach for the sugar-free. Okay, let's talk, okay, we're talking bread. So this is the skinny bread that I usually get. So you got two for 80 or just like your basic run of the mill wheat. We got one for 60. So basically you can have two for the price of one. Um, so I always reach for like a lower calorie. This is the one that I usually get. It's not because it's like the most amazing tasting. Everything is so cool. I don't really care that much about bread. It just works. If it's in my macros, it's yummy. I'm kind of easy in, in this department, but this is what I reach for. Okay, let's talk snacks, rice cakes are so good like they're filling the tomato basil so so freaking good um one of them is only 50 calories eight grams of carbs two grams of fat we'll compare that to like some crackers over here let's see so let's just compare it to a wheat thin we're looking at 130 calories 21 grams of carbs so it's just substantially better it controls the fat better also um Neither of them are good or bad, just the macros over here are a little better. Okay. Canned vegetables. Do not sleep on canned vegetables. They do not go bad. You can keep them in your pantry. You can eat them in a pinch. 
I eat the entire can. Yes, I eat the entire can. You guys, the whole can is like 50 calories. Put some salt and pepper on this, a little bit of spray butter, amazing. So I buy these by the case at Costco, but I definitely don't sleep on the canned vegetables. Pasta and rice, absolutely, it's a go. Um, you can totally fit these in. I have little tutorials on how to measure cooked pasta, um, but Mom, you can absolutely put pasta in. Um, hi. Rice, I love rice. <laughs> I love rice. I always reach for this jasmine rice. I keep this in my pantry at all times. This is an absolute staple for me. I tend to not reach for these because they have added like fats and sugars and just um, they're okay in a pinch, but the calories and the macros just aren't as good. And it's more cost effective to buy uh, it this way. So yeah, so pasta's a go, rice is a go. And then let's yeah. talk sauce. I make my own tomato sauce. I have a tutorial on that, but let me show you Alfredo, how you can totally fit in Alfredo, store-bought Alfredo. They have light, which is okay also. Only 25 calories, but you guys, let me show you. This is only 50. So you can get the real thing. Like, this is the comparison. 25, 50, like if you have the macros, you don't need to always be buying light products. You can, and it's fine, but you can have the regular also. Spices. I love spices. So since you're buying plain poultry, plain meats, plain that, this is where you're gonna spice up your life. These are so good. Um, I tend to reach for ones that like don't have added sugars. I, these I believe don't. You'll have to just double check. But yeah, all of these are like zero zero. Um, they go crazy. Spice up your meat. Let's see. I love these. Sounded really good. You can get salt free if you're sensitive to salt salt is not the enemy it, it, it's okay you can have it but like taco if you're doing like mexican night um my go-to spices are salt pepper garlic onion um but all of these ones are really good too just look at the labels we're comparing half and half and cream so this is two tablespoons versus one tablespoon over there so we really got to multiply that so that's 30 by 40 okay so really they're pretty much the same even actually a little bit less fat over here but for the coffee bake, our two tablespoons gonna be enough okay I find this to be creamier it's really just kind of a preference you have options here this is the zero sugar one um, you really have options you just got to kind of make a choice dairy staples for me cottage cheese you guys already know I get <clears throat> the low fat because I just don't notice the difference and I'm not gonna like waste the fats you get a hefty serving Amazing. Protein, great. What's the protein? 11 grams, like so good. You can make it savory or sweet. It's amazing. Let's move to yogurts. I love Dan and Lightning Fits. These are super good. I like the vanilla. The banana is like off the charts, but you can't always find it. Strawberry cheesecake is good. Any of these are good. Love the Dan and Lightning Fit. 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, zero fat. Literally no fat at all. Also, I buy plain. Let's check. Plain. Oh, here we go. Wait, where's um, where's my brand? Well, okay, here we go. We can look at this plain, non-fat, you guys, for six ounces, which is a hefty serving. 90 calories, no fat, 16 carbs, seven grams of protein. Amazing. I do dips with this. I do savory bowls. I do yogurt. I do dressings. It's this. This is a must. Eggs are an absolute staple for me. Great source of fats and proteins. I used to do a combo of like egg whites and eggs, but it's a must. And even these like black coffees, I love these too. Um, but just make sure you're getting the unsweetened. Or you can brew a pot of coffee, or you can brew a pot of coffee and in your pantry that works as well. I always keep lunch meat in my fridge. I usually reach for like the oven roasted turkey breast. Um, the macros are great. Two ounces, only 50 calories, one gram of fat, two grams of carbs, and nine grams of protein. Like you could easily get a great protein lunch with just a sandwich. Cheese. I reach for the mozzarella. I think the macros are just better, and I don't mind like the flavor. I don't feel like the taste is, is like off. So compared to this, like sharp cheddar, we're at 110, eight grams of fat. Um, over here, 80 for six. It's not like a total, total difference, but when you're doing multiple servings a day, I definitely think it adds up. So I reach for this mozzarella for my like um, grilled cheese or my quesadillas. That's what I think. Okay, we're talking cream cheese. 
So this is like a weird hack that I learned a while ago. Whipped. I don't know why. I'm, I'm assuming because the air is in it, but it's half, literally half the calories. So the regular cream cheese is 100 calories a serving. And then 50 for the whipped, like literally 50. We're actually going to compare the whipped with the one third less fat and the macros, you guys are still better. Literally, like 50 versus 60, five grams of fat versus 3.5. I'm telling you, don't sleep on whipped cream cheese. Here's an easier comparison. If you wanna look at this one, 50 versus 80, perfect serve. Like, I don't sleep on whipped. It tastes the same and it's just better. Frozen veggies are another thing I absolutely always keep in my freezer. Broccoli, cauliflower, um, I do this little mixed melody for my stir fry. So easy, so convenient. Frozen fruit is another thing that I absolutely always keep in my freezer. And then you don't feel like you cannot have sweet treats, you guys. These no sugar added little fudgy pops, 40 calories a pop. What? You're coming home with me. Okay, salsa is a great way to add flavor um, to your dishes, but I just wanted to show the difference. So you might think like these are both like green salsas, okay? But when you look at the macros, this is usually like if they've added cream of some kind. So this is 50 calories versus 10. Again, not good or bad, just to be aware, five grams of fat versus zero. I would go with this one. And red salsas are fine as well, but again, just always make sure to check if they're adding like cream. Um, enchilada sauce is also another little hack to adding a lot of flavor to dishes that is very low in calorie as well. Dressings, let's talk about it. Everything is fine. Just, you know, pick and choose what you like. Mayonnaise, totally fine. Just measure it and weigh it. You can go light, um, you can go regular, whatever you prefer is fine. Mustard, like literally zero calories and tons of flavors. They have like these ones, amazing, like spicy and sweet, jalapeno, Dijon, like yum, delicious. Ketchup, I usually reach for sugar free or less sugar just because I do. Hot sauce, you know I love hot sauce. Um, Frank's, Tapatio, all of these, amazing. And like zero calories. Um, now barbecue and teriyaki, I love Jujus. That's like one of my favorite brands but they do have these other brands. So like this one is really good as well, this zero calorie um, Carolina barbecue. I just would not waste my calories on barbecue sauce, like 15 versus 60, like no, I, I just wouldn't. I would rather use those calories somewhere else. So I always reach for a sugar-free version. Don't forget to like, follow, and hit that subscribe bell so you know when new videos come out, they come out weekly.